Unit tests can be created so coupled to the system that if you change anything in the system, a whole bunch of tests break. This is called the fragile test problem. The fragile test problem is a problem that is experienced by people who are new to test-driven development. If you have only been doing test-driven development for a year or two, you are very likely to come across the fragile test problem. And the reason that you come across it is you have not yet realized that tests are part of the system and have to be designed as part of the system. They cannot simply be thrown in there as a bunch of tests. Tests are an integral part of the system that must be designed with all the same rules that we've always used to design any part of the system. So let me explain what I mean by that. If there is a part of the system over here and another part over here, they're not tests, they're just parts of the system, and you make a change over here and it breaks a thousand things over here, what can you say about the design of that system? It sucks, yeah, it's a terrible design. That's by the definition of bad design. The definition of bad design is when you make a change in one place and a thousand things break in another. Well, okay, now turn these into tests. You make a change over there and a thousand tests break, you got a bad design. How do you fix that? Well, you design the tests. You isolate the tests from the system. You decouple the tests from the system. You build APIs for the tests. You use all the same techniques that you use for normal system design for the tests. And you wind up with tests that don't break that way.